pen and teller fool us. Let's meet our next trickster. Hi, I'm Caleb Wiles, and I'm the Puzzle Master Magician. I'm a little bit obsessed with wrestling and Rubik's Cubes. I've been a wrestling fan since as long as I can remember. I think that's where I learned to have energy when I'm performing magic on stage. Within the magic world, I'm known more as a creator and a theorist more than I am an actual performing magician. Magic is about figuring out the puzzle. From Rubik's Cube, you only have a certain number of colors to work with, a certain number of pixels, it's almost a magical object in itself, the way it stays together even though it moves about. Magic sometimes can be created from very simple ideas and you can create something extraordinary. From Indianapolis, please welcome Caleb Wiles. Tonight, I want to try something different, something that's never been done before on this show. You see, normally the idea is for a magician to come out here and show you all a trick that will hopefully fool Penn and Teller. Uh, but I want to take things to the next level and do something perhaps even more incredible. You see, I've created a trick that has been specially designed to be performed by somebody who is not a magician. Somebody who doesn't practice sleight of hand, who doesn't read magic books. In fact, it's somebody who doesn't even know I'm about to call her up here on stage. Allison, I have created this trick specifically for you. Would you mind coming up here to give me a hand? Okay. And Penn and Teller, you can join me up on stage and get a front row seat as well. Let's give them a big round of applause. Allison, you can step right back here. Thank you so much. Sure. So, Allison, if everything goes right tonight in your first ever magic trick, you are going to fool Penn and Teller. <laughs> if something goes wrong, you are going to take all the blame. Aww. So no pressure, okay? okay? <laughs> uh, but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through it every step of the way. Please do. In fact, we will start with the most uh, basic step for any card trick, okay. and that is to uh, take out the jokers. So I'm going to spread through the cards here, and I'm going to take out the jokers, and as I do that, Penn and Teller, you may notice that there are some special cards in the deck. Those I prepared for Allison earlier, those are some instruction cards that are going to help her uh, kind of lead her through the trick. In fact, the first one is right here on top. So from here on out, Allison, you're going to do everything. You're going to be the magician. I'll be your lovely assistant. Okay. Okay? Um, are you ready? Sure. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, making her magic debut, the amazing Allison Hannigan. So, Allison, you're going to hold on to the cards, okay. and I'm going to hold up the instructions so everybody can see. Step number one says to have a card selected. So that's a pretty typical step for a card trick. And we're going to do that in a very fair manner, because this is Penn and Teller. So I have an idea for this, Allison. I want you to deal the top card face down onto the table. Okay. And then I want you to deal the next card face down on top of that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to continue dealing through the cards, but I want you to do it at a very slow, deliberate pace. Okay. And the reason is, Penn, in just a moment, you're going to call out stop. You can keep dealing, Allison. Okay. But whenever you get the urge, you're just going to call out stop. How do Stop! I... Oh my God! <laughs> did, you, did you mean for this card, or did you want the card she was about to oh, deal? Oh, the card she was about, to, about deal. to deal. Now, you are the ma uh, magician here, so you don't get to see the card, okay. okay? But I am going to show it to the audience, and we'll make sure Penn and Teller get a chance to take a peek as well, okay? Uh -huh. And we'll put the card here, and we'll move on to step number two. You're doing good so far. Step number two says to bury uh, the card in the deck. So I have an idea for that as well. Spread through until you get to the next instruction card. Ah, it's almost right near the, near the top. Take these cards and put them on top. And actually, uh, since it's so near the top there, take the whole deck and put it on top as well. That way we know Penn's card is really buried down in the deck. And you can pick up the cards in your hand again. And I'll read off the next instruction. So the next instru uh, instruction, step number three, says to do the cut shuffle. Now that's a magician's term, Allison. I'll explain what that means. Basically, you're going to cut off about half the deck. Okay. And I want you to put those cards on the table. And then the cards that are left, I want you to give them a quick little shuffle. Okay. Uh, awesome. Not so good at that. Uh, no, you're doing perfect. You're doing perfect. Okay, okay. and then I want you to take uh, about half. You go, yep. Oh, yeah. Until you're ready. Okay, then take about half of those cards, cut those down to the table. Perfect. And I want you to shuffle those cards again. Just give them a quick little mix. Perfect. And take all of those cards and put them right here. And now we'll move on to step number four. Step number four says to assemble the deck. Now, this is where things get interesting. You get to stack them up in any order that you want. Just make a nice, neat pile on the table of all the cards. Okay. Perfect. So pick up those cards. Okay. And I want you to spread through them until you come to the uh, next instruction card. And we'll just hope it's the right one. So keep going, keep going. I can see one coming up here soon. Keep going down the deck. 
Aha, uh -huh, okay, there it is. So cut these cards down to the bottom. We'll put these ones on top. Okay. And we need step number five, and we have step number five. So that's a good sign. Uh, we'll look at step number five next. It says, ask your participant to shuffle. So that would, that would be me, Allison. And I want you guys to watch this really carefully, okay? I'm going to give the cards a mix. But Allison and Penn and Teller, I want you to make sure that this is not one of those fancy uh, magician kind of mixes. Those cards really are being mixed all the way through the deck. And you can even see there are other instruction cards that are now kind of uh, moving to new positions, okay? And I'll square them together as fair as I know how. We'll square the cards up just like this. And Allison, you can take these. Now, here it is. We've had a card selected in a fair way. You've shuffled the cards. I've shuffled the cards. The card is thoroughly lost. Now we have to find it. So we'll move on to step number six. Step number six says to deal a pile of cards. So this is the exciting part. Now we're actually looking for Penn's card. So I want you to deal uh, a card down there and just keep dealing a pile. Deal quickly so we can look for the next instruction Gee, oh, card. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, That's all right. I messed that up. Okay, you're good. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. There's the next. Uh, oh, uh, yes, you're doing great, Allison. Oh, keep thanks. the cards. Okay. You, uh, deal a new pile of cards. So keep dealing. Okay. Keep dealing, oh. keep dealing, keep dealing. Oh. oh, it says keep it up, Allison. You're almost there. I'm, almost, I'm getting so excited. So keep exciting. going, keep going, keep going. Okay. There's got to be the next one. Oh. It says you're oh. killing it, Allison. Hang on, hang on. Oh, Pins, <laughs> Pins card is only three cards away. So look, that's card number one. That's card number two. Don't show this, but hold on to that card. Now, I want you to think about this. Look, you shuffled these cards. Mm -hmm. There's no way any of us could know the order, yes? I'm going to spread them onto the table. Those instruction cards could have ended up with any card in the deck. Right. They led us to the card that you're holding. For the first time, Pin, what card did you choose? Three of spades. Allison, if that is a three of spades, we are all going to freak out. Yeah. Show it to him. Do we get it? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> There's more, there's more, there's more, because look, Penn, you stopped on the three of spades. I you did. You could have stopped at any card. I could have. But Allison and I, we knew you would stop exactly on the three of spades, didn't oh, we, Allison? Totally. Yeah. yeah. We want proof. We want proof. Look, you stopped on the three of spades, and look, I have some other instruction cards here, and on the back of the instruction cards, we have a perfect match. Look, there's the three of diamonds, there's the three of clubs, there's the three of hearts, a perfect prediction, but wait, there's more, because look, Allison. Had even one card been displaced, this pile could have been in a completely different order. This pile could have had more cards or less cards. This pile could have ended up over here instead of where it's at. So I guess there's only one last question to ask. Penn and Teller? Did we fool you? Did you see their faces? I did. They were really good. They were impressed by your card might, handling abilities. I think we might get a Vegas show. Wait, we're the new duo. I think so. I think so. I think I'll be the silent one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So is this a trick you invented for this show? Or? It is. So uh, this is a trick that's many years in the making. Uh, the original version, maybe it was six or seven years ago, I created. And I've just been refining the method uh, more and more and more until you see the final product you saw tonight. Yeah, I, I like that. This, <laughs> though, I think we might get a trophy. I know. Now, if, if you do fool them, do I get to keep the trophy? I think that would be fair. All right, I think they've had enough time. I Let's think check so. in I with think them. So. Allison. Yes. Yes. You did a wonderful job. Why, thank you. It thank was you. really, really great. Aw, thank you. <laughs> you know, I think it's a fool. I, yeah, let's call it. I just, <laughs> give us trophies. That is such a beautiful trick that uh, I'm tempted to cheat a little bit in your favor. Okay. Because I really want you on our show. I'm good yeah. with that. I'm but, good I, with that. but I also... It's really, really complicated. And Teller came up with one question. And okay. I've got to tell you honestly, okay. I don't know the answer to this question, and neither does Teller. Oh. Okay. And we're willing to gamble everything on this one question. Oh, God. Okay? Okay. okay? The hard part of this is uh, how clean my selection was. Yes. I said stop whenever I wanted to. Yes. So that selection yeah. was either really, really real or it was really, really good. Okay. And if that selection was really, really real, we should be able to go up right now and look at the faces of all those cards.
Okay. If you want us to look at those faces of those cards, that trophy's going to go down. So now, sir. Yes. <laughs> as great as you were, yes. I am, did you fool us? I did not fool you. Aww. But I'm very happy to be here. It was and I tell fun. you, when you said that, it broke my heart, too. <laughs> I did not want to win this one, because you are so <laughs> good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. That was amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Caleb. More fantastic magic on the way. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be back.